Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first ever West York Area Alumni Band Concert. My name is Sarah Forey, and I am a West York graduate of 2011, and I am the current director at Trimmer Elementary School. I am honored to stand here today representing both the alumni and the current music department as we celebrate 100 years of instrumental music instruction in West York schools. I would like to...
and we all have discipline, excellence, respect, perseverance, leadership, and individual accountability, among with some of the other lessons that themes ring true in reflection of what the program has instilled in us. Beyond this, we have learned today, and we can see today, that music is a lifelong passion. Performing, playing, and appreciating music do not end upon graduation from West York. You are never too old to create music, and music spans across the time to connect us all, generation to generation. Countless lives have been touched by the instrumental music of West York in the past century, and as we move forward into a second century, we continue our pledge to hard work, high goals, and inspiration for all who participate in the West York Instrumental Music Program. With that, I would like to welcome to the stage today's conductor, West Short alumni, class of 1972, and West Short Area High School Band Director of 34 years, Mr. Thomas Eister.
to our centennial celebration of instrumental music in West Turk schools. My name is Emma Fochman and I'm in sixth grade. And I'm Jack Fochman and I'm in fifth grade. <laughs> the music for today's concert was selected to honor West Turk's music of rich heritage and tradition to celebrate and remember all of those who have contributed to the instrumental program and just for fun for the performers and audience alike. During the next hour, you will be treated to a march, a light overture, hit tunes of the 1920s, music from the Broadway stage, from cinema and television, a traditional folk song, and of course, our school songs. Our opening number, The Fiery Triumphant Fanfare, was chosen to create an atmosphere of excitement and anticipation for this very special event. The origins of the West York instrumental music dates back to the 1920s, so we thought it would be fun to include some of the hit songs from that era. Tin Pan Alley was a collection of music of publishers and songwriters in New York City that dominated the popular music of the era. Warren B. B. Barker's masterful arrangement includes, the, includes from 1920, Carolina in the Morning, Babyface from 1926, Ain't She Sweet and I'm Looking Over a Four Leaf Clover from 1927, and 1929, Happy Days Are Here Again. We'll think you'll enjoy Tin Pan Alley. Thank you. 
Helen Hamilton, and I'm in fourth grade. Composer Robert Sheldon's music has become some of the most frequent, frequently performed by school bands today. As a former public school band director himself, he cites his major influence as a main inspiration as his composition teachers, renowned band composer Clifton Williams and Alfred Reed, as well as composers Richard Strauss, Richard Wagner, Gustav Holt, and John Williams. His concert overture, Celebration and Song, creates a celebratory air beginning with a rhythmic drive and a tuneful melody, which is followed by a plaintive lyrical section. A return to the original theme brings the piece to a rousing high energy level.
this time, we would like to welcome to the stage Dr. Todd Davies, Superintendent of West York Area Schools, and Representative Carol Hill Evans for a special presentation. We would like to thank both of these individuals for joining us today in this celebration, and we are honored to have them here with us as we celebrate today. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. I am State Representative Carol Hill Evans, and I am very pleased and very happy to represent um, in Harrisburg, West York Area School District, along with Representative Seth Grove. Uh, so he was unable to be here today, however, uh, we wanted to get together when we heard that you were celebrating. We wanted to be part of that because it's so special and it gives us such a wonderful opportunity to be part of the community, part of the schools. I understand we have seniors in high school and senior citizens as well. <laughs>
Hello, our names are Keegan and Kato McKee. We are current 11th graders. Sorry. <laughs> Old, Scot uh, Old Scottish Melody is a gorgeous arrangement of the folk song Old Lang Syne, which loosely translated means days gone by. It is the perfect vehicle for the band to showcase their expressive, lyrical, and sensitive music musicianship. Old Lang Syne is a song of celebration, inviting us to remember and celebrate good times and friends of the past and to look ahead to the future. It is meant to invoke feelings of nostalgia, especially memories of good times with great friends and family. Though most often associated with New Year's Eve, the true meaning of the song seems appropriate for our event and as a tribute to those band members no longer with us and represented by, by the memorial wreath placed below the stage today. For the good times of past, present, and future, and for old and new friends, Charles Wiley's Old Scottish Melody.
the anthem of a school to express the gratitude and pride that students and alumni feel towards their institution. The music and lyrics to the West Shore alma mater were written by Gertrude Spillman in 1924. Her song was chosen from entries in a contest held by the school. Very few know her name as it never appeared on the written music. Gertrude graduated in 1926 and went on a successful career as an elementary teacher. Teacher of nurses at York Hospital School of Nursing and a school nurse. She shared her love of music by teaching piano, organ, and voice and directing children's choirs at her church. Please rise and join us for the playing of the West Shore Hall. to the mind, flight to the imagination, 
and life to everything. West York musicians have been able to share the gift of music beyond these school walls through college and university ensembles, professional ensembles, and our local community bands. None of this would be possible without the influence of incredible directors who spend endless hours teaching these lifelong skills. It starts from the first time we pick up that instrument in beginning band, just trying to learn the notes and fingerings to create a sound. We evolve, we evolve through our middle years, expanding on those fundamentals and being introduced to new genres and styles. In our final years of learning, it becomes a culmination of everything taught to us with the ability to share our talents to those in our community. The West York Instrumental Music Program has a strong legacy based on the foundational leadership of exceptional directors over the past 100 years. I will now be joined on the stage by current students of the elementary, middle school, and high school programs. Just give a special moment for these students coming on stage. We give them a round of applause. It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to come up and present uh, the songs and speeches to the audience and have this opportunity. We thought it would be very special um, to have them participate in this element. So we were very lucky as we started to think about uh, this opportunity for the alumni to come together. We knew we wanted to reach out to as many people as possible. And a big portion of that, as we talked about, was the directors. Um, so we have many in attendance today, and we'd like to recognize them individually. At this time, the students uh, have small gifts that we share with them to honor them for the dedication and service that they've provided the program throughout the years. So to get started, I'd first like to bring to the front of the stage Rod Meckley, current high school band director since 2011. since 2017. Sarah Forey, a 2011 West York graduate and currently our elementary band director since 2017. West York graduate and was high school band director from 1977 to 2011.
Bill Powers, high school band director from 1974 to 1977. Dave Wren, junior high school band director from 1985 to 1988. Rick Worley, middle school band director from 1999 to 2003. Middle School Band Director from 2004 to 2009. Joe Snyder, Middle School Band Director from 2009 to 2017. Claire Crow, Elementary Band Director from Jason Straffer, current president of the West York Band Booster Club. In honor of all the directors, past and present, that have served the West York Instrumental Music Program over the past 100 years, the Booster Club is presenting a plaque to commemorate their names and years of service. This plaque is to be displayed in the high school band room. Accepting the plaque on behalf of the district is Rod Meckler. <laughs>
tenth grader at a member of Western Band. The Music Man remains a timeless musical piece which opened on Broadway in 1957. It has turned into a hit movie in 1962 and has been performed by thousands of community and school theaters. The show has been new the show has had numerous successful Broadway revivals, with the latest one starring Hugh Jackman and Susan Foster, which ended this past January. 76 Trombones is a signature song from the musical and is used to help the parents of the community visualize their children playing in a band. Today we use this piece in closing to say thank you to all West York parents of past, present, and future band members for sharing that vision, and to all our West York music men and women for their dedication, commitment, and enthusiasm for instrumental music since the first rehearsal in 1922. Thank you for spending your afternoon celebrating 100 years of instrumental music in West York with us, and we hope that you enjoyed today's concert as much as we have enjoyed performing for you. We truly appreciate your past, present, and future support for the program. And going off script for a second, I'd like to personally thank everybody in the audience and everybody playing. I know they put in so much work for this event, and we really do need to show them that we truly appreciate them, and I'm sure that they would appreciate that. Speaking of going off script, <laughs> I have to say something. How much fun is this? Yeah. Yeah. We were here this morning practicing. I didn't sleep all night because I thought, oh, what did I do? What am I going to do? And how am I going to play this? All that. Lovely Sarah kept saying to me for three months, aren't you worried about what it's going to no, and then this week I went, oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyway, it, this has just been wonderful. And uh, you've heard the word family used quite often. Uh, it, that's not used lightly because all these people here, whether they were from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever, and the people out here that aren't able to play today but were part of the band are part of that family. It's very important. And I just want to give you a little idea about this family, and maybe my own little story, and I'll try and make it quick, because it could, as my wife used to tell me, God rest her soul, shut up and just direct. <laughs> it didn't work then, so I did. Anyway, um, I was fortunate. And, and I'm giving a lot of secrets away here because they still think I'm 29. Uh, in 1963, to have Mr. Crown start kneeling the trumpet. And about Christmas, January, like every other kid, I wanted to quit. And he says, nope. And he called my parents and I didn't quit. <laughs> a little different, but it, it works. So then on, went through the middle school with Mr. Bill Mullen, fantastic middle school band, or junior high at that time, uh, band director. Then I got to high school. And there's these guys down here, Mr. Wyan, just uh, turned me on to the band so much, to him, what was there, and the high level and high quality of music we were able to play. In all the meantime, I'm still, I wanted to quit in fourth grade, but now I'm taking private lessons every Monday night from Mr. Crone in his basement. So, with his two lovely daughters bothering me every Monday night when I go in there, and then later become band members of mine. But anyway, I regress. So, I was fortunate. I graduated in 1972. Mr. Wyan says, First of all, let me speak family. 1972, summer after graduation. My mother's killed in a car accident. The first person to call me, other than a family member, Mr. Al White. Uh, takes me, says, you're going 
looking for band camps with me. Okay, so that's how I went and go, looking for band camps. He says, you're coming to band camp. So I graduate, I go to band camp. Not many of us got to do that at that time. So the next three, I move on to Susquehanna University real quick. My band director there is a gentleman by the name of James Steffi. Before he moved to Susquehanna University, guess where he was the band director? West York Area High School. <laughs> you know, there's this horror happening here. So then, I'm there, I graduate. All the time, Mr. Wyan leaves, I kept going. Mr. Powers graciously asked me to stay on and work with the band camp. And we had a great working relationship there. And I have to thank Mr. Powers because about 1977, he decided, eh, I'm going to go try this college game. And I get this phone call from guess who? Mr. Crone. <laughs> get on the phone, we have a job and you're applying. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <coughs> so I do that. I walked in, I had an interview, it lasted about 20 minutes. And they looked at me and said, do you want the job? And I went, oh, okay. And then I left and I thought, what did I just do? Now I got all these big shoes to fill. So I ended up staying 34 years in that job and it was a wonderful thing. And my kids, my wife, and Ryan lets me still hang around. They let the old guy come around still. So we appreciate that. And this has just been fun. Now I'll probably be in my recliner all day tomorrow. <laughs> so, but it, it, you know, this has been overwhelming. I thought we'd have 50 people play. They said, let's do this. I said, oh, we'll get 50 people. You know, 120 or, you know, want to play another 20 just want to show up and then we have tons that can't be here so this has just been wonderful and thank you so much for coming out here today whether you're a community member or alumni wherever we hope you've enjoyed our program uh, we tried to keep it fun and light and maybe a little meaningful for the hundred year program so it's just been special and one other thing i have to do i have to Nobody really knows how much time was put into this. This happened about, started about November, end of October, right? And they came to me and said, we're going to do this. I said, okay, let's do it. So I have to thank uh, several people, first of all. First, I have to thank Mr. Seth Brickner, who is on our committee. Seth, stand up back there in the tuba section.
Miss Sarah Flory, stand up.